Gina Ferraro with Nude Hippo. Robert Downey Jr. is going to be accepting the Renaissance Award from the Gene Siskel Film Center, and I got a chance to talk with him beforehand. TV, movies, you've even recorded an album. What do you plan on tackling next in Hollywood? Uh, me, and, me and Little Missy got a production company up and running. We're going to do that. Mm -hmm. Figure out something else to do with this guy after uh, our, our epic comes out. Mm -hmm. Team Downey. Team Downey. So how was it working with this guy right here, due date? Honestly, it was, uh, for me, at first it was intimidating. Robert is one of the great actors yeah. of uh, our time, really. And um, once we got through week one, and I realized how giving he was and how uh, kind of easy he made it, I was really worried a little bit on Zach's behalf if he would be intimidated and not be able to be as funny as he could be. Right. But once we got into a groove, it was, it was for me, the best experience I've had making a movie. So how did this um, how did this partnership come about? Like, did you have the role and you were like, "We, I know he's going to be perfect for it"? Or um, when I was uh, 14, Robert woke up in my bed. Oh, nice! <laughs> Stumbled into my house. <laughs> he woke did he have clothes on? <laughs> so I was that guy. Was he there for the gangbang? So I was just legal. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm teasing. Uh, no, uh, Robert's just somebody, you know, as a director, you know, you gotta always aim for the, set the bar pretty high. Hi, yeah. So we had this script we'd been working on due date, and we uh, went to Robert, and he'd seen Hangover and seen some of my other films, and we had met a year before that, remember, the show West? So yeah. Which, by the way, I am kind of like, who am I more excited to see right now, because I love your movies, too. Oh, yeah. thank you. How is it for you now that you're the Iron Man, relating to a younger audience, as opposed to, like, me, who is loving you in Weird Science? Uh, by younger, I mean some of them are like three. Like people tell me, right. like their their three-year-old son woke up and said, you know, I need to talk to Iron Man or whatever. It's 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 it's, it's, a, it's a really great thing, right. and it keeps me uh, excited. And you know, I think those uh, both the the Iron Man and the, and the Sherlock franchises are still kind of fertile, so uh, it's not like embarrassing. Right. It's not like I'm some shot-out semi-action <laughs> star who's just. <laughs> chasing some ducats and whatever. <laughs> I mean, it will become that, but right now it's still fertile. No, I'm loving it, and I think that it's great that you really kind of invent, reinvented yourself, and I can't wait to see your guys' thing. Are you doing a cameo, like you always do? Uh, I do have a little part oh, yeah? in three days. I see him in this. Uh, yeah. wait, 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 it's very intimidating to be in a movie and act opposite. Uh, even I'm though, sure you guys made it work. <laughs> when are you going to have a personality meltdown and then have to reinvent yourself? Yeah. <laughs> That's on its way. Out. That's next. All right, thank you so much, guys. Right. Thank you. Thank yes, you. have fun. It's Gina for Nude Hippo. Sit, Ubu, sit. Good dog. Good night, Mr. Walters. Tony, can you shut up? Meow.